Hey YouTube, Dawson Ryder here with a review of the Tokyo Changer from Russia Sentai Tokyo. Took everything in me to say not to say um, Juden Sentai Kyoujer just because I'm so used to saying it. So yep, time for a new year of Sentai and that means some new reviews. So um, I'm going to go ahead and go over the box for this. I know I haven't been doing box things for a while for toys like these, but I thought I would do it for the first Tokyo thing since it's all new and stuff. So just to take a look at it. Um, pretty neat as these boxes usually are. You know, obviously you got the Changer right here. Uh, we got a picture of Tokyo Ichigo there. It shows that it comes with the red Russia. Um, on the top here, this is really neat. All their helmets line up with the tracks, which I thought was just really cool. At the top, you just have the logo and stuff. Uh, another picture of Tokyo Ichigo on the side. Other side as well. On the back, like these usually do, it just kind of shows how it functions, you know. Uh, you put the Russia in there, um, shows the other um, the other Russias that you get with the mech, and then it shows how their gimmick works, you know, changing colors. You see uh, Ichigo going from green or red to green, excuse me. So that's pretty neat. And then on the bottom, another shot of all five Tokyujers. So like usual, the box on these is pretty awesome. Um, so if you don't know, you can buy this in two different ways. You can buy it like this, which is on its own, which comes with the Changer and the Red Resha. You can also buy it in a set, which comes with Tokyo O, um, and you do not get the extra Red Resha. So if you get this set, um, you get all five Resha, obviously, so that you can have Tokyo O, um, and then you get the Changer, but you do not get this extra Red Resha. You are supposed to use the one from the set. I mean, yeah, that's right. Um, and it works just fine. It is different. I will show it here in just a second. Um, but you don't get the extra one, so unfortunately, if you want to play with your changer, um, you're going to have to pull out the Resha. So anyway, um, speaking of that, let's go ahead and take a look at that first. Uh, this is the red Resha you get with it, obviously. Tokyo Ichigo's. Um, it's pretty bland. Um, there's really nothing special about it, but I do like these. And it gets the job done just fine. And this is the one that comes with this exclusively. Um, just here's a comparison to the one that you would get with the set, which is part of the mech. As you can see, there's a little bit of difference here. This one's got um, small little bits of paint, um, like there. Um, and then it has this little connector here for the weapon. And then it, um, it obviously bends for transformation. So those are the differences. If you get them individually, you get both of these. So you can have one, you know, to mess with the changer. But if you do not, you're going to have to pull this out to use it. Um, but it does function the exact same. It's, I mean, in terms of the changer, they make the same noises and all that. It's just this has functionality for the mecha transformation. All right, so taking a look at the changer, um, to be honest, um, in terms of design, it's not one of my favorites. Obviously, I get what they're going for, um, but just design-wise, it looks a little clunky. It's kind of funny looking, um, but that's just in terms of design. Other than that, I think it looks fine. It's a really nice size. Um, it feels nice um, in your hand and whatnot. Um, all the details look fine on it. It's very show accurate. Uh, you got the buttons here for change, uh, transferring tracks or you know colors, and then for summoning the Resha. Uh, these. Here, uh, two here are LEDs, uh, which is really neat. Um, and then obviously you have these nice thick straps that you just strap into wear on your arm. And it can fit me just fine. But yeah, overall, like I said, um, in terms of design, it's not one of my favorites. Um, it has grown on me a bit, but just it just looks a little bulky. And it's kind of a you know a shock after we got an awesome um, dinosaur uh, shotgun last year. But still, it gets the job done fine. Um, obviously this ratchets back and forth um, for the transformation um, and though you know the way that the Resha work is based off of little button presses on the bottom of the Resha it's not like a reader there's no like chip or anything in there um, so it's all button based hence why people are able to you know press buttons to unlock different sounds or as they like to call it hacking um, anyhow let's go ahead and turn this on uh, there's an on off switch right here just press it you will get some lights any activation noises It'll make noises like that when you clamp it down. But let's go ahead and put the Resha in. So, you just slide it in like this. It will make confirmation noises and then just slide it down. So it'll say Red Resha. Alright, so now we will go ahead and start with the noises. Let's go ahead and do the transformation. So, lift it up, press this button. So it'll just continue on like that until you press it down. So cool, cool. Alright, now we'll do the Russia summoning noise by pressing this button. Yet again, it will continue doing that until you press it down.
All right, so we will do the transfer noises probably last. I'm going to go over the ones that come with Tokyo, and then we will just show some transfers. I won't show every single one, because that's quite a bit, but we'll show some. Um, and then so to get it out, just press this button here. It will unlatch and then press it out. And I'll make those noises. Um, just real quick, I'll only do the transformation just to show you. This is the Red Resha from the uh, Tokyo set. So you can see it does have the same functionality. So um, you can still use full functionality, you just don't have the extra one if you happen to get the set. Alright, so now I'm going to show the main sounds for the other five. Um, we've got Blue Resha here, which obviously comes with the uh, Mecha set, which you just pull off of the main train. So let's go ahead. Tokyo Nigo. Alright, we'll eject it. And now the yellow Russia, which comes to Tokyo yet again. Also, I just want to point out, when I put it in there, if I were to just snap it down, it would just say the name of the Russia without the sounds afterwards. So, basically like this, without the noises. So if I just pressed it down, without any buttons, it would say yellow Russia, just the one time, with no sound effects. Alright, green Russia. Alright, and last but not least, the pink Resha. Oh, there. Right. there you go. Alright, so now I will show off a bit of the line changing gimmick. So we'll start with red. So first you're going to want to initiate the transformation. Alright, so now we're all transformed. So now just press this button and then after it does its initial sounds, you pop this out and then pop the one you want back in. So I'm going to go ahead and transform them into pink, so. So it will also make standby noises, so just take it out, and I'll put pink in. So you'll notice it will say, um, you know, red transferring to pink for Toku Ichigo, and now we can do it again. Let's say he wants to be green now. So 
we'll transfer him to green. So you can see now it will say pink to green and it will keep it as Tokyo Ichigo. So it will remember what form you're in and you can continually go. You can cycle through all of them and stay as Ichigo. Or we can now transform into green. And now we can line change to blue. So now it'll be green, and then now if we want to, we can change him into blue, like actual Nigo. And then we'll transfer him. So now he's Nigo transferring to yellow, and then we could, you know, switch over to red if we want. So you get the idea. There is lots of possible combinations. You know, you can do each individual uh, Tokyuger in the various different colors. Um, you can circle through, through the one. You can have all of them do it. So I'm not going to sit here. It would take quite a while to do every single possible combination, but you get the idea. It remembers what ranger you are and then what color, and then you can just switch it up. So it's honestly a lot of fun, and I really dig it in the show. I think it's, it's really kind of an innovative and fun thing. Um, so overall, I really do like this changer. As I said at the beginning, I'm not too huge a fan of the design still. It has grown on me, but I really dig the concept behind it. I think the gimmick is really fun. Um, just the whole idea of the trains and like the whole mech and uh, changer gimmick being one and the same again, especially in this level, is really cool. Uh, I do like the voice. It's not one of my favorites. It can get annoying after a while, but I do like it. And just overall, it's a lot of fun to play with. You have If you have Tokyo or you got the set, it's just fun to mess around with them, do the, all the different combinations. It gives you a lot of different options. Uh, you can even do a bunch of the transfers and transformation sound effects with the other rushes that come with stuff like the blaster and the uh, the buckle. So that's very, very cool. Um, yeah, it's just uh, really neat. I have a lot of fun with it. Like I said, despite not liking the design, I think it's a really fun changer, and I think if you like the show or the changer, you won't be disappointed. I think it's a good time. Um, just like I said, be uh, aware of the fact that if you get the set, you do not get the extra uh, red Resha, so you'll have to use the one from the mech, um, which is a bit of an annoyance, so I'm kind of glad that I have um, the separate releases, so I have an extra one for the changer. Uh, but yeah, overall, a lot of fun. I really enjoy it. I definitely recommend it. Um, so anyway, that about wraps it up. Make sure you like, comment, subscribe, and um, until next time, make sure you check out writersrageandrambles.com. Dawson Ryder, signing out.